I think empathy and sensitivity are traits that women leaders very naturally exude. So if they can capitalize on it, it will really hold them up for greater success in the future. I think the one simple advice that I would give the young people is really shine out in terms of honesty and be brutally honest about what you want, especially for women, whether it's at work or with your family. Don't be afraid or guilty about saying what you want. So there is a pay gap uh, and uh, I think that's well documented around the world. The actual numbers don't matter. What individuals, particularly women, can do is to ask. But with, armed with data and armed with, uh, uh, with a sort of plan in terms of, look, if I don't get it, what am I going to do and how, what do I need to do to, to close the gap? I think courage is something which you require as a leader, regardless of gender. But uh, as a woman, I think it becomes even more important because there's so much reinforcement of, uh, uh, of your uh, inability to be uh, courageous or bold that to break out of that takes a little bit more effort. So I think the message that I would sort of give to sort of young aspiring women entrepreneurs is, um, you know, go out there, pursue your passion. If you can dream it, you can do it. So the advice that I have for men in the workplace is, is just embrace the fact that, that women are here and that they should be given center stage and that we should be working side by side along with them rather than trying to challenge and fight this. Because when you do so, uh, as I hope I have had the maturity to do so in, in my own organization, you suddenly realize the potential that can be unlocked from that. And I think then, you know, the world's your right stuff. Going forward for our country, I really hope it's a much more equal environment. I hope being a businesswoman, a CEO is not such a rare thing. A lot of people you may deal with in India, you know, whether it may be a distributor or a banker, has probably never dealt with a young woman before. And whatever he may say, you know, some kind of sexist comments, some bias, don't get upset about it. Don't take it personally. Find a solution and get your work done. Because, you know, about business, it's not personal. You have to make sure, as a boss, you're the one who gets the job done. Ladies who lead. 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 Ladies, go lead.